friends, I'm Robin Fight to Stamping Country. Welcome to my stamping studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little mini accordion fold card. It's super cute. And just look at the front and back panels. There's something special and it opens up into accordion on the inside. This little card measures when it's all folded up three inches by three inches but it's packed with all kinds of cuteness. It features the Animal Outing stamp set, which would be, will be from Stampin' Up!, which will be retiring at the first part of June 2020. You're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that's cut 12 inches by three inches and score at three inches, six inches, and nine inches. And then you can fold it mountain, valley, mountain, and it'll form your accordion. You're also going to need four uh, squares of balmy blue cardstock. It's, it's two and a three, uh, let's try that again, two and three quarters inches square, and that's for the mats on the inside. Now to make that cover, this is a die from the Tropical Die Set. And this will also be retiring here in the next month. But we're going to die cut both the front and the back panel of our little booklet or card. Isn't that adorable? It's also an important part of the mechanics of working our card. I'm going to use some matching ribbon. So this is Call Me Clover ribbon. Sort of weave it through the fronds. first on one end and then on the other end. You want to allow plenty of ribbon so that you can tie it when you're done and you want to have enough so that you can open the card up. So make sure that you lay it out and have enough ribbon. When you close it you're not using quite as much ribbon but when it's open you need quite a bit. Now this is important. Only put your adhesive on the very tips or the edges when you apply your blue panel. And that's important because you need to be able to slide that ribbon back and forth. You're going to be pulling and tucking and it'll just slide. And then for our other two panels, we're going to use the perennial birthday to stamp a sentiment and we'll use the Call Me Clover ink and we'll stamp birthdays all around. I thought that was cute because we had all these animals so birthdays all around. Then we're going to use the Tropical Chick stamp set and we're going to just stamp a couple of these fronds just for it. It coordinates with the uh, dies that we used on the front and we can tuck those behind the animals. So I'm going to stamp a couple of these and then maybe one of the ferny looking ones. This is, what is the name of that ink? It is Soft Sea Foam ink is the cardstock and then the Call Me Clover is the, the darker that we stamped with the ink. Now these are the tropical dyes and I'm going to cut these out with my cutting machine and we'll just place those inside our card. I love all these little dies in this set. So we'll place one where the kangaroo is going to be and the hippo and we'll place one under our sentiment And then we're going to stamp our animals from the Animal Outing stamp set and we'll go ahead and color those. First with the hippo I want a few lighter colors for the highlights so I use petal pink and light pool party. And now I'm shading. These are super easy to color because there's a lot of lines. Sort of shows you where to shade and where to go lighter. The bird I'm, I'm doing with balmy blue markers, I'm 
think it looks like the bird from Rio. The belly of the kangaroo, I'm using petal pink, and then I'm just using crumb cake for the body of the kangaroo. The light and the dark for shading. And the koala, I'm actually going to use um, a different blue just so that you can see it in the kangaroo's pocket. And then our little frog I'm going to do in granny apple green. And our giraffe, um, soft suede for the spots and mango melody for the neck. Now we're going to cut those with our animal friend dies and then place those inside our card. Aren't they adorable? If you want to see more detail on coloring these animals, I'll leave a link to another video for another fancy fold card that you can make with this set. Now this giraffe, we're going to tuck him in behind the fronds in the front of our card. Just tuck him in there. He's sort of hiding in the fronds. Now to cover that up a little bit and to have our front sentiment, we're going to use the perennial birthdays once again, our Call Me Clover ink, and we'll stamp Happy Birthday. I'm going to just use one of these dies from the Tropical Die Set to frame my Happy Birthday. We'll use some dimensionals to pop that up. And let me show you how it works once it's all done. Okay, so you can see you have it on the end and you can just pull it tight and tie it. And then when you open it up, it's going to pull the ribbon the other way. And then you can off, you just, when you want to close it up, you can tighten it once again. So when you open it, that's why you need plenty of ribbon when you're tying it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Have a fabulous day.